you can see these two column towers. The structural designer has reduced the column size at the top position. You know how it is difficult to place the rebars in that column. But don't worry, Revit add-on Instabar will do it for you in a few seconds. In this video, I am going to talk about placing rebars in the reduced size column. This tool number 8 helps to place rebars in the reduced size column with the same diameter rebars. Open this tool. Select this top column and beam. Now select this bottom column and beam. Instabar detects the number of rebars their diameter and the lap length in the bottom column. We can see those details in this area. The top column will have rebars of 16 and the lap length 640. Let the crank length be 200. Select stirrup diameter of 8. Set the distance between the stirrups 200. Click this arrow and open the graphic arrow. Do you see this dotted line? It shows the position of the top column. So, to be a part of the top column, Instabar bends these bars. If you select this delete option these corner bars get deleted. And these two bars acquire the corner position in the top column. For this demonstration, I will delete these two bars. You can see these two bars are marked by blue color. Hit the OK button. Let us check the rebars. Now, I am going to use this tool number 9. Select this top column and beam. Now select this bottom column and beam. Instabar detects the number of rebars their diameter and the lap length in the bottom column. We can see those details in this area. Select 12 for the diameter. Input the lap length as 500. Let the crank length be 200. Select 8 for stirrup diameter. Set the distance between the stirrups 200. This time I am not going to select this box. Hit this arrow. This graphic shows the top column position. Hit the OK button. Now, we will observe the rebars. Let us use this last tool. This tool is used for the topmost column. Input these values. Hit the OK key. Let us check the rebars in the plan view. In the next video, I will get the rebar quantities.